Welcome to V-Drum Tips. Our project for this video is a self-made drum splitter cable. Most of the middle class V-Drum kits have a dual trigger system on each pad. That means you have two playable zones on every pad, the head and the rim sound. This could be necessary on a snare drum pad, for rim shots, but not essentially on each tom pad. You might want to use an extra pad as in cowbell or effect, but every trigger input is already taken. You need a 6.3mm stereo jack connector, the one with the three rings, or depending on your kit, a female or a male one, a 100 kilo ohm resistor, a soldering tool, tin solder plus soldering flux, a side cutter and a mono jack cable, the one with the two rings. You can use a guitar cable. You also might need a knife, lighter and forceps. Use a multimeter if you have one. The model we used was only 5 euro. You can check if the resistor is the right one, in case you are not familiar with this color codes. We simply connect two mono jacks to one stereo jack or plug. Therefore we have to connect the ground of the stereo jack, marked with number 1, to the ground of each mono jack. Or right signal, marked with number 2, of the stereo jack has to be connected with one of our mono jack tips number 3 has to be connected with the tip of the other mono jack. The ground on number 1 is the same on every block. Only number 2 and 3 are the signal cables, which will be split. The most important part of the splitter is the resistor. Connect it between the signal cables 2 and 3. The splitter cable will not work without this. Cut the guitar cable in two pieces. Skin the cable ends of each piece. The inner cable with an extra isolation is the signal cable. The enveloping cable is the ground or number one. Drill the ground cable and remove the isolation of the tip from the signal cable. Do this for both cables. We decided to use a female jack as a stereo connector, as the TD9 TOM cables are all male jacks. Open the jack. Now take both parts of the guitar cable and twist the ground cables together. Impose the casing of the stereo jack. Also impose a heat shrink tube after. You can use electrical tape if you don't have heat shrink tubes. Brace the cable tips. Now solder the twisted ground cable to the ground connector of the stereo jack. Solder each signal cable to the signal pins. Close the clamp of the stereo jack to fix the cables. Finally, solder the resistor from one signal pin to the other. Make sure that no cable end or resistor part touches the ground. This would cause a short circuit. Impose the heat shrink tube and use a lighter or better a hot air gun to shrink it. Additional wrap some electrical tape around it. Now screw the case and make sure you are not twisting the two cables. This can be a bit tricky. We use again the multimeter before testing the cable on the drum kit. The setup is the same, we are measuring the resistor. The cable is working if the resistance of 100 kilo ohm is only showing by touching the two tips. 
Disconnect the cable from the tompet and connect it with the splitter cable. Find out which one of the cable ends is the head and rim signal by simply touching the blocks. Connect the head cable to the tompet and the rim cable to your extra pad. The rim sound is now assigned to an extra pad. Change the pad assignment for this particular pad to another instrument, like a cowbell. There could still be a sensitivity problem by hitting the pad too hard. It triggers the tom sound, which is unwanted. But this is fixable by changing the sensitivity settings in the drum module. Also change the threshold and the curve. In this case, we increase the sensitivity to 12 and the threshold to 3. Play around with these settings until you have the result you like. Another tip, connect two identical pads on one splitter cable for a better result. Each pad type requires different sensitivity settings and you have only one pad setting for two split pads. Also note that these drum splitters are not made for every Roland module. Check out the description for that. Let us know in the comments what experience you made with drum splitters and any tricks you know about this. Also like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching! See you next time!